back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you're new, I am a third year, seventh and eighth grade special education teacher here in Georgia. I wanted to come on here and do a part two to my getting my teaching certification video, but I got an overwhelming response to with um, praise and just um, wanting additional information. So here I am um, giving you what you all asked for. Before we get into this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything else that I upload. First question that I saw under the video was about was the program approved through the Georgia PSC? And yes, Moreland University is an accredited program with Georgia PSC, so you are totally covered on in that aspect. Another question that I saw was applying to Moreland University um, in regards to their teaching certification or their master's programs. Um, I applied to the dual program, which is the, it's the master's program, but you're also getting your teaching certification you're applying to the whole thing so what I did was started in the teaching certification program and that's what you go through first and then after that program is done then you choose when you want to start your master's program they are very similar programs however the master's program they have I think it's six different programs I applied to the MED in special education I think they have educational leadership um, English learners or something like that. There's six different ones. Um, I'll probably put it right here um, on the side of the six different programs that they offer. So, um, sorry, <laughs> I was prepared, but I was not prepared for that. But yeah, so you um, you can do them split, um, but I just did the dual program. Um, I think I saw a question about workload and, and how long it took to do the assignments for the pro for the teaching certification program. Because I was teaching at the same time as doing this program, I struggled um, a lot with getting the assignments done in the weekly time frame that they are given to you. I submitted a lot of assignments late. I actually am still not totally done. I'm actually waiting for my final GPA. Um, as we speak well as I'm speaking on this video not that the program was hard it was just me I'm really bad with time management um, first of all and me juggling multiple hats was also a factor in me not completing it I'm just being honest with you guys um, there were people who was able to knock it out and be done there were people that quit or took a break during uh, my uh, program so it just depends on how you function and how your time management is you know so it was a question about taking the gaze versus the praxis i have not taken the praxis i don't plan on taking the praxis gaze test that was the uh i think it was the special education part one and two for reading being social sciences and one and then I took the I'll put it right here I can't remember but I only I've only taken two I am taking a third um, next week for special education elementary I also talked about in my previous video about um, for applying for your certification in Washington DC and then transferring it over into Georgia either I misspoke or I was just wrong and I apologize for that but I don't have to do a certification in DC or I think it was Arizona or something like that. Um, I can just apply for my Georgia certification. Someone did ask me to talk about the master's portion of the program. I love the master's program. I love my instructor. He was awesome, very informative, helpful, personable. I did mine during the summer, which I think I would recommend. If you can do the master's portion during the summer, I would not recommend doing it while you're teaching. You have to, the assignments for the master's program is any more difficult than in the teaching certification program, but you do have to write a dissertation that's due at the end of the master's timeline. Working on our master, our, not our master's, our dissertation like from class one, and I really appreciate my instructor 
you know, telling us to start thinking about stuff, having an idea of what you want to write about, stuff like that. So I really appreciate him doing that for us because it made the entire process so much easier. So um, yeah, but I would definitely recommend doing it during the summer. My cohort was awesome. There are a few slash group projects, or not projects, assignments, um, but it's not anything to the You do um, build up your e-portfolio, which I believe we started in the teaching certification. So everything kind of like is together. You know, you build on the information that you did in the teaching program, the teaching certification program that you, and you build on it in the master's program. So I did like that continuity. Um, between the two programs. Yeah, my biggest thing is to try and do the master's program during the summer for sure. And much it. I this I didn't want to jump on here and have like this tremendously long of video. I just wanted to like answer some of the questions that I saw um, on my previous video and give um, any other extra information that I could think of. As far as where I am for my program, I still Technically, I'm not done. I'm waiting for my final GPA so they can send out my transcripts. I'm just behind because I just didn't do some of the assignments. I'm not even gonna sit up here in front. Like I just didn't do some and didn't realize that it was gonna hold me back um, this much. You know, my mission that I have through my job is expiring in June. So I'll have to rush to try and get them to send me my transcript for more than university so that you know, I can get a contract because they're not going to offer me, a, like I was on a, um, like an initial, um, contract where like it's contingent upon me doing, doing and completing a program and my two years are up technically and they extended it for this past year or this current school year. I think it was because of the pandemic. Um, but yeah, so I have to do that, but don't be a me. Don't be a me, be someone that does their assignments like they're supposed to and not a procrastinator, okay? So, food for thought. But yeah, um, I am here to answer any questions. I should be done, hopefully, before the end of the month and maybe I will make a um, video or if you follow me on Instagram at Everyday Educator, I do uh, post pretty regularly on there. Thank you so much for joining me. Please, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask on here or on my Instagram. I am on there pretty regularly, like I said. Thank you again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.